What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. Welcome to our daily show. We discuss everything going on here in our country that you need to know about on a daily basis, including money, investing, the stock market, the fourth stimulus package update, and a stimulus check update. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to do so. I'll keep you up to date here with everything going on. And remember, new videos come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, thanks for hitting the like button for us down below. Uh, we got a major update here for you today. Uh, first, food prices are rising dramatically. Uh, let me show you here what a major restaurant chain owner has to say here. He's also owner of the Houston Rockets. Uh, listen to what he has to say here about costs. Check this out. Let's Today. talk about a couple of things. I remember at the depth of the pandemic, about this time two years ago, you said you thought that the economic recovery would be a 2022 phenomenon. You're looking in your business. You're looking pretty prescient on that. Is that what you're seeing now in hotels, in restaurants, in live events? It, it It's Business is very good, Tyler, but it even got good at the end of last year. And, and, and the world came back just like we thought it would, but it even came back better. But where the consumer's out spending money in, in all aspects, hotels, restaurants, uh, casinos, concerts, uh, sporting events, uh, it, it, it's good. It's just those costs are up. But it's been better in some places. You know, here, here's a definition. If you take the East Coast and the West Coast, when it comes to restaurants, same-store sales are still down 10 percent because the lockdown for so long has changed people's habits. Where in the rest of the country, uh, from the South to the North to the Midwest, you're up right now 7 to 8 percent. So business is good, but it's just lagging on where the lockdowns were the hardest on the east and the west. I think I think you're exactly right and I and I obviously all roads lead to me, but I, I think that that people on in the New York area kind of got out of the habit of going out. They're still a little gun shy, but it's coming back. I mean it, it really is. So let's talk about inflation. It it cuts in two sort of deleterious ways to a, an entrepreneur like you. One it rises uh, input costs for you, food costs, uh, all of rents, uh, labor costs, and so forth. And for the consumer, everything gets more expensive. Uh, you go to a steakhouse now, and we're coming close, close, close to the $100 steak because your input costs are, are much higher. This is what people have to understand. Please forgive your neighborhood restaurant or wherever you go for two reasons. And I'm going to use a cheat sheet like our president does. But from 19, beef is up 30 percent. Chicken is up 140 percent. Pork is up 30. King crab is up 100 percent. Lobster 50, uh, fish 30, shrimp 10, and grains are 120 percent. And hourly labor is up almost 20 percent. And we don't have the hourly labor that we need. So usually when a waiter had two tables or three tables, now they have four or five. So I feel sorry for the consumer that they're paying a lot more and they're probably not getting as great a service. But it is what it is. And it's, it's nothing that your neighborhood restaurant can solve for you. And so please be patient with them because it is expensive, but it's expensive. People still say, I can still spend less going out to a restaurant because when I go to the grocery store, I end up buying so much more and I'm shocked, you know, at my bill when I go to the grocery store. Do we you, hear that all the time. Do you? Well, it's, it's, just, it's true. I, I went and tried to buy a couple of steaks, uh, not big ones, and it was, it was $24 <laughs> for two little small ribeyes. Yeah, so I wanted to show you that there to kind of show you the prices of the cost increase of all these different types of foods. And uh, also check this out here. This is crazy as well. The big four meat packers are denying price fixing, even though they're making record profits, just like the oil industry. <laughs> so here's the problem here is, is the meat industry, largely controlled by four major meat packers, are making record profits, just like the oil industry. 
So they're they're making all time high record profits, and yet uh, they're saying, "Oh no, we're not price fixing." Yet the prices continue to skyrocket. Yeah, CEOs of the big four meatpacking companies on Wednesday deny accusations of price fixing under fire from House lawmakers after reporting record profits amid soaring meat prices. Quote, was there ever an agreement between your four companies to cooperate together on issues impacting supply or pricing? I need a yes or no. Representative David Scott, uh, chairman of the House Agriculture Committee, asked the CEOs of beef packing companies Cargill, Tyson Foods, and National Beef Packing and JBS USA. Together, the companies control more than 80% of the beef market. All four of the executives denied conspiring to manipulate the cattle market under oath. Yeah, let me tell you, that can't possibly happen in a competitive market. <laughs> uh, referring to a 400% increase in a profit margin in the packing industry since 2015. 400% increase in their profit margins. In their profit margins. Wow. President Biden and congressional Democrats have promised to crack down on corporate consolidation in the private sector as one part of their effort to fight inflation. A White House analysis released late last year found that the big four meat packers tripled their net profits since the start of the pandemic. Together, they raked in nearly $13 billion in profits last year. I believe the oil companies raked in $200 billion in profits last year, according to more recent earnings compiled by a watchdog group, Accountable.us, with all four companies recording record profits. The meatpacking CEOs were eager to associate their soaring profit margins with inflationary trends in the broader economy. Uh, yeah, of course. Good thing to blame it on, right? Yeah, so let me know your thoughts on this. And we've seen uh, even in uh, shareholder CEOs, um, you know, during their stockholder calls saying uh, that, they, that they could raise prices right now uh, because of inflation. And they've you know, some stockholder companies have literally said this during their shareholder meetings, during uh, open <laughs> uh, calls. So, yeah, so this is this is the problem of what's going on here right now. Now, since the uh, president and the White House administration has extended the public health emergency for 90 days, remember that was set to expire on April 15th. And this would have ended extra SNAP benefits for tens of millions of Americans. Uh, you could see here it uh, provides extra benefits, flexibility to the health industry for SNAP benefits and for Medicaid, among a host of other things. That has now been extended for another 90 days. Um, and I'll keep you up to date here if it gets extended here as well. This means that um, more SNAP benefits have been extended already for, and, and we already have May being announced here for some states already. I know it's not May yet, but some states have already announced some May extra SNAP benefits, okay? So again, this is uh, directly from the uh, USDA website here for May. So, so far being announced here, extra SNAP benefits going out to uh, residents of Alabama, Colorado, District of Columbia, Washington, D.C., uh, Georgia, Hawaii, Indiana, Maine, Maryland, Michigan, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, North Carolina, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. Remember that these benefits are only because of the pandemic, only because of this public health emergency. These are stimulus benefits. These are only because of the pandemic. So these have just been extended for another 90 days. Hopefully they'll be extended again because these benefits are going out to all these states. There will, there will probably be more because if we look 
here at April, and remember, May's not even here yet, so a lot of these states are still kind of working on this. But when we look at April, these were all the states and territory that uh, decided to do it for April. Remember, this costs the states money. I know that there have been, I don't know off the top of my head, but I've seen some comments of some people saying that their state have, has decided to stop it in April. Maybe we'll see some states turn around and decide to continue it on or something like that. But you can see here, this was the list for April. There's a lot here. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, District of Columbia, Georgia, Guam, Hawaii, Illinois, Indiana, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, Ohio, Oregon, Oklahoma, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Virgin Islands, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. So when you look there, there is quite a quite a lot there. That's that's for April. Okay, that's for April. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, times four, there's like somewhere around like 33 states and, and there's a couple territories in there, or I'm sorry, 44. Um, yeah, 11 times four is 44. Uh, somewhere in there, I'm not going to count them all, but that's a, you know, an estimate there for you. So yeah, so there was quite a, quite a bit there for April. Um, there'll be hopefully nearly as many for May. I know that some states, just by the comments, um, have decided uh, they no longer want to pay for it. Hopefully we won't see that because we know that a lot of states here are flush with cash based on all these stimulus packages. And remember, they all have the stimulus money here as well. Uh, if you've been watching my channel, you know this. I also want to uh, briefly show you here the uh, states that are giving out... Um, and you can literally see his coronavirus uh, pandemic EBT. This is extra food and nutrition money for, um, it, it's called PEBT, but it's basically for um, school students and it, it's just money that basically goes out uh, for school students and it's it's kind of a it's a stimulus benefit i mean it literally is kind of in the name right there um so the states that are that are have issued this or are con continuing to issue this or have issued this in the past or might be having this in the future american samoa colorado delaware florida indiana kentucky maine louisiana maine <laughs> They have Maine twice here. Uh, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Nebraska, New Mexico, North Carolina, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Puerto Rico, Rhode Island, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. So uh, if you've kind of been watching my show here, you know that this, this uh, list has also kind of been growing here by the months. So uh, this also, again, is a, it's only a stimulus benefits. I mean, you can literally see it, it literally has the virus pandemic EBT right there in the name. So if it weren't for the virus, if it weren't for the, uh, it's a stimulus benefit. So uh, hopefully we see, continue to see programs like this continue to go on and, uh, really inflation and stuff has kind of really been really bad and food prices are at an all-time high right now and we really need all the states to step up and do this even states that have stopped it there's some states that uh i, I can't remember what's i mean there's 50 different states i i can't even remember you know who but i remember there were some states that that stopped snap extra snap benefits like one or two months after the pandemic began. And I remember them saying that they wanted to get back to normal and they wanted uh, people to get back to normal life. That's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, my heart goes out to anybody 
having to deal with it. My heart goes out to everybody, actually. Uh, I mean, I mean, we're all dealing with this. We're dealing with a pandemic. We're dealing with almost a million people that have died uh, from this pandemic. We're dealing with people that uh, have have you know long COVID. The people that have dealt with you know symptoms from this. People that are just you know worried about it. People that have lost their jobs from it. Now we're dealing with inflation, you know, and just the job situation alone, people that have lost their jobs, people that have lost their businesses, had to restart over, right? Now we're dealing with 40-year high inflation, right? And every little bit helps. I mean, we're talking about stimulus checks from the past help, stimulus checks in the future will help, the child tax credits help, those have stopped, even if temporarily, right? Right. Um, if they can't get a solution on how to do that, it'll revert back to the $2,000 per year, but you'll have to file a tax return to get it. Okay. So if that happens, I'll give you more guidance on how to do that later on when that happens, but you'll probably have to file a tax return to get it. It'll be $2,000 a year instead of three thousand to three thousand six hundred dollars per year that's why when i get some comments of people saying well jimmy it's just a it's just a return on your tax returns and they're just giving you the money in advance that's that's not completely true because remember these monthly payments that they're giving first and foremost you got to remember that they increased the money if you if you remember anything about anything, just remember that one thing: they increased it from two thousand per child to three thousand per child, or thirty six hundred dollars per child for children under six. So, if anything, just think about it, it's more money. It's an extra thousand to sixteen hundred dollars. That's all you got to think about. It's basically an extra thousand to sixteen hundred dollars. It's a whole extra stimulus check. <laughs> okay, just remember that. Okay, so it's not just a return on your money. So anybody that ever says, I don't want it, it made me pay more taxes, that's not true at all. Because if they go back to the old system, they, they, that's just people just giving you bad information. Um, because remember that, first of all, you only got half the payment up front, okay? Uh, remember, you only got the monthly payments for half the year, okay? So you're still getting the other half on your taxes, on your tax return. That's fifteen to eighteen hundred dollars per person. That's almost a two thousand that you were getting last year. So you're still getting fifteen, eighteen hundred dollars per child. So that's almost the two thousand you were normally getting. Okay, so you're really almost even with that. But you were also getting the monthly payments in addition. So you're you're getting way more money than you used to get. Just so everybody's clear on that. I, I still get comments on that, and and it, you're just you're just being fed wrong information, honestly. So you, if, if someone offers you 2000 and another person comes along and says, hey, I'll give you 3000 which one would you take? You always take the 3000 or 3600 if you have children under six, okay? You always take the 3000 It's just it's common sense, okay? Um, and But remember, you got to file a tax return to get your extra half right now. You got to file a tax return right now if you haven't, okay? But if it reverts back, if they don't pass a child tax credit this year, then it's going to go back down to 2000 which is not good. Okay, It's going to go down to 2000 and there's going to be like millions of people that are excluded. Okay, If they go back to the old system, there's a bunch of people that don't get it. <laughs> uh, we'll go into that later. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but there's going to be a bunch of people that don't get it. Okay, And plus you're going to get less money. That's one stimulus benefit that's going to be, you're going to get less money and a lot of people are not going to get it anymore. So that's like a no and a no. Just like these SNAP benefits and these pandemic EBT benefits. I mean, millions of people get SNAP. It's, it's literally money for hungry people. We want to give them as much money as possible. Yeah, it's like all these benefits. Like money for children, yes. Money for hungry children, yes. Money for seniors, yes. Money for hungry people yes money for social security yes money for people that have had student loans for 30 years and can't pay them off yes money for people that are low income yes money for everybody that needs it and needs help yes let's help out people right now yes if people need help 
Let's help them. Yes. I mean, you let me know your thoughts, but states have billions and billions and billions of dollars, and they're just sitting on the money. Let's help them. Yes. Or, or the alternative is the states could sit on the money and not use it. Which one do you think is better? The states sit on the money and not use it, or they help their residents. I mean, you let me know your thoughts. I mean, because honestly, that's what some states are saying. They're like, wow, if we if we use the money and actually help out our people, then what if several years in the future, we might need the money? And, and we're thinking, and on the other hand, we're thinking, but we have starving people right now. They might need the money now to actually eat. Or to actually, you know, not get kicked out on the street. And then and then you got you got other people, you know, that were elected by the people thinking, but what if five years from now the state needs the money? And and the state's looking at their bank account and it says, We have twelve billion dollars. And the state's going, but what if we run out of twelve billion dollars? These are what like state elected officials are are kind of contemplating. And it's just like, really? But thankfully, if you've been watching my channel, uh, you, you guys have seen a lot of states are passing uh, multiple different kind of stimulus checks or tax rebates, which is really the kind of same thing. It's a check. Check is a check. Um, or doing a bunch of different things. I, I like the states that are doing a lot of different things where they're like, they're sending out a check. They're reducing their grocery taxes. They're reducing their gas taxes. Uh, we just had a state that reduced their uh, past free kindergarten. They said it was literally for people with young children. It was going to save them $5,000 a year or uh, preschool. And uh, they reduced their taxes. They reduced their sales taxes. That was, uh, that was a really good one. Who was that? I think that was this one. I think that was Colorado because it was, yeah, it was $400 per person. And eight hundred dollars for a married couple, and uh, yeah, showed that uh, showed the governor announcing that. Uh, had the interview directly from the governor. Uh, governor Jared Polis announced Monday that every Colorado taxpayer will get a dividend of at least four hundred dollars this summer. Some families will get eight hundred dollars um, if they're, if they're a married couple, and uh, they have a bunch of other different things in there as well. But you have to file your taxes by May 31st this year to uh, get that. And I believe they also have tax uh, checks for property owners as well. And hopefully we see some big things from the federal government as well. We have seen two stimulus checks from Trump, one stimulus check, the $1,400 stimulus check from Biden. Uh, some, some people get that confused. I, I know that Trump wanted to pass the $1,400 stimulus check, but remember Mitch McConnell blocked it. And then Biden passed the $1,400 stimulus check and then no Republicans voted for it. So I know it little, gets a little bit confusing there. Uh, and, and Trump kind of had the idea, but then Mitch McConnell said no, didn't pass it. He literally, his own Republicans said no. And then when it, when Democrats went to pass it, not a single Republican voted for it. So I don't know if I can, I know that Trump kind of had the idea, but the Republicans literally voted no on it. <laughs> his, his own Republican senator blocked it. Mitch McConnell wouldn't vote for it. Uh, but he totally gets the credit, you know, uh, for the first two. But I not a single Republican voted for the last one. So I got to say two for Trump, one for Biden. Um, Trump's first two was $1,200 and $600. So that's $1,800 for Trump, $1,400 for Biden. So Biden's actually got some catching up to do. So if anything, uh, Biden's got to pass another stimulus check if he wants to catch up to Trump. So you can let me know your thoughts. Maybe we'll see another stimulus check from Biden here before the midterm elections. 
Uh, remember, there's still rent assistance, mortgage assistance, and utility assistance available. I just did a video on that here. There's over $15 billion with a B, billion, of rent assistance alone and new utility assistance available here. I just did a video on here as well. I'll link you to that video here right now. Make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't yet. It's completely free to do so. New videos come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can click here to watch my newest video next, or you can click here to see that new video on rent assistance and mortgage assistance and how to claim that money. And also this video down here on my new stimulus check video I just did as well. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.